hello and welcome to my channel my name is Abdullah Kamel and today I'm gonna be showing you how to write a formula inside data validation to allow only unique values in a certain column uh, this means that no duplicate values will be allowed uh, normally you would need something like this if you have an employee table where you want to make sure that only uh, unique values are available I mean, uh, you don't want to have the same employee written twice okay so uh, I'm gonna be showing you first how the feature work and then I'm gonna be showing you how to do it yourself okay so uh, the table we have here shows the employee number and name uh, it is already formatted as table which is good and now we can come here at the end and try to uh, add a duplicate value Okay, under the employee number. So if we pick 7261, a duplicate value that already exists in a column, and we hit enter, we immediately get a message that's telling us it's a wrong entry, but also it's telling us why it's a duplicate uh, entry, and uh, it is also telling us uh, what is expected from us, which is uh, only unique values are allowed. Okay. Um, the other thing is it is also showing us where the duplicate value is okay so we have the option to retry or to cancel okay so if we hit retry here and try to add another value that does not exist in the column and let's say 1111 for example and we hit enter the value is accepted okay so uh, this is how uh, the feature work and this is where we want to be when we finish uh, designing um, so let's see how we can uh, do this ourselves I've already covered the data here into uh, another sheet so it is a range now it is not you know a table yet so the first thing you need to do is to format it as table so you go to the home tab and then you go to format as table pick a color that um, you like and then make sure that the range here is uh, selecting all the data that you have and also make sure that my tables has headers selected because we we actually do have headers in our range here and if we press OK the table uh, the range now is being converted to a table all right and there are a lot of benefits of doing that and we will see okay so the table name under the table name here change it to something uh, that makes sense like uh, employee or employees okay so it's an employees table all right okay now what is left is only to uh, come up with a way to allow only unique values as new entries um, so the way we're gonna do this is by you know counting the new value in the whole column so we're going to take the new value and design a formula to look at the whole column and count whenever it sees the value in that column. If the value is, um, if the count is equal to one, it's a unique value. If the count is more than one, it's a duplicate value. Okay. So uh, let's first start by selecting the whole column, then go to uh, the data tab and then go to data validation under settings here rather than allowing any value we go to custom and under formula here we need to write our formula and check it against um, one or more okay so the formula here need to be a logical formula okay so uh, if the uh, result of the formula is true the uh, value will be allowed if the result of the formula is false then the value will uh, will be rejected okay so let's write our formula so we're gonna say count f count f what if the range and the range here is the whole column okay so we're gonna refer to the whole column and the way to do that is to use the indirect function And uh, the indirect function asks for the quotation mark if you're referring to a table name 
so we're gonna write the uh, table name which is employees and the column name need to be uh, inside uh, square brackets and the column name is imp number okay so uh, okay and we close the quotation mark okay so we want to check to count if the range which is the column okay what is equal to the first cell here okay and we need to make sure that the value is not locked so what is this gonna do it's gonna take b3 and count whenever it sees the same value inside the column okay it's going to do the same thing for b4 for b5 and so on until it finishes and also it's going to do the same thing for the new value okay that you uh, have here and that's why we must not lock the cell here with the dollar sign okay and we close the parenthesis here okay so this is the count function the count if function but with this alone the function is still missing something which is the uh, the logical part which is going to transform the result from you know a number to a uh, a logical output it's going to be true or false so we're going to check this against is it equal to 1 or not so if it's equal to 1 this means that it is a unique value and it is allowed otherwise it is not okay <clears throat> the other thing is we need to have our error alert which is the error message and we need to uh, use the stop style because that will um, will prevent adding you know duplicate value and the title we're gonna add here uh, wrong value so we're telling the user that this is a wrong value but also we need to explain why okay so uh, <clears throat> entry is a duplicate value well, or is it duplicate and that's enough I guess and then we're gonna say here what is expected from the user so uh, only unique values are allowed all right okay and now our formula is ready and now let's test it okay so if we uh, enter a duplicate value and let's say uh, let's pick the first one two nine eight two and we hit enter here and you can see immediately that we have our um, error message here as telling us it is a duplicate and only unique values are allowed <coughs> uh, the other thing is that we want to uh, we want to make um, the duplicate values highlighted so that uh, we know where the duplicate value is so we're going to use this by using conditional formatting so we select the whole column we go to the home tab here and we go to conditional formatting and under highlight cells and rules there is something called duplicate values here so it's going to highlight whenever duplicate values is seen and we hit ok so it's a duplicate and light red is just the color that selects for you you can change that if you want but red is ok I guess and we press OK. So whenever now we add uh, duplicate values, let's pick uh, 3918, and we hit enter here, and you can see we get the message, the wrong message here, and we also know where the duplicate value is. Okay. Um, note also that uh, you know the new value was outside of the table. Okay. 
but once we hit enter the table expands to include the new record and at the same time it applied you know the data validation rule that we put inside it and this is you know one of the uh, good benefits of uh, formatting your range as a table you don't have to go inside data validation every time and change uh, you know uh, change the range every time uh, all right so uh, I hope you like the video if you do uh, please subscribe and come back again for more thank you so much